Hello future people, today we're going to do a waifu slash husbando tier list for withering waves. I have a few disclaimers to get out the way. Uh, number one, I'm going to be ranking everybody because I am not trying to actually have intercourse with these characters. So if you don't like that, leave. And this is obviously not a meta tier list because I have to play the game yet. It, it's not out. Closed beta test isn't for another two days and I didn't even get in anyway. So this is purely for fun, basically. So let's get into it. All right, first, first, first here, we have Ankh. Ankh, for me, for me I'm gonna pay, her, I'm gonna pay her an S for me, cause she's one of the characters I wanna play the most. Uh, next to a couple others here. I'll explain why here. Uh, her kit just seems super fun. She's super cute uh, character as well. Her character design is very unique along with a lot of these characters. She doesn't seem like she'll get boring after a while like some of these characters are. I love the whole design of she's like controlling these two puppets that are like oh and like one is too powerful for her to control so she like goes into a frenzy i think that is really unique and and fun which i think her character is all right let's move on here all right here we have mortify i'm not sure what his name is i'm not sure how to pronounce it rather mortify is the best thing i have here i'll, I'll give him a i'll give him a He's a fairly new character, so I don't have that much footage to go off of. But from what, from what I did see, his attack patterns are nice. His visuals look good. Everything's short and fast. It doesn't seem like he has really that much mobility. So uh, I hope I do get him, but I'm not going to be going after him, really. So whenever the game does come out. So yeah, that's, that's, that's it for him. Uh, let's move on here. By Leon. By Leon here. Is another S for me. She, well, she's not the only puppet character anymore. There is another one here, uh, Yingling, at the end right here. She's another puppet character. But the thing about Bai Li, uh, she she is a character you get at the beginning, and I just like her puppet so much more than Yingling because it just seems a lot more responsive. Like all of the attacks it does. It's only a four hit combo attack, but that's that's fine. It doesn't look as cool as Yingling's, but it's bigger. It can hit multiple enemies. And with a charge attack, it does suck them in. And she's a healer. So she looks cool. She's a healer. The only thing, well, I can't put her in S, actually. I can't put her in S. I'm going to put her in A rank because they changed her from. They changed her ult to just being an AoE heal. And so she can't be an S rank and just a healer, and she's not really that cool. Like, okay. Her E is a heal, and her R is a heal. So it's not that cool. She, she's pretty simple overall and she's just a starter character so I got, I got docker points for that so I'm gonna on a rank all right next we have dungeon okay dungeon oh, I'm gonna rank I'm gonna rank I'm gonna tell you why they did upgrade her visuals and she does look a lot better but she's still I think first of all she's ugly okay I'm gonna just say it she's she's not good looking she's like out of all the characters she's probably the worst to, to me to me personally her kit however powerful i'll say the only flashy thing about it is like the ultimate and looks like the charged attack from the e it's not really that good i mean i like her beginning of it when she pulls out her sword but that, that's that's pretty much it that and the new ultimate look that's that's all i really like so she's not gonna be that high for me sorry to say whoever likes this character just, you, you can like what you like but just not me okay Next is Chixia, Chixia, Chixia. I'm gonna put Chixia in B rank. I'll tell you why here, I'll tell you why. All right. I think Mortify is just a better version of uh, Chixia. Chixia seems like a more beginner friendly version, like more of a four star than Mortify is like a five star maybe. Uh, but Chixia, they did change her ult as well to be a more of a bullet dance, shoot everything in AOE type thing instead of where it was which is better in my opinion but the thing about Chixia her passive is just shooting bullets that's that's her passive so she can shoot bullets and be a she's a very long range character which is nice like, she can be very good for like dodging and weaving so I think she's gonna be a high skill character but it's just not for me I, I think her design is uh, I think her design is nice but not really looking for a whole gun down and avoid getting hit type of gameplay because that is very mechanically hard and yeah I'm, I'm just not for it all right next 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 we have I was about to call her Verno she has a different name now 
Her name is Yuyan. Yuyan, I'm just well, I'm gonna say this. I might be butchering that. That's here. Hmm, where do I put her? Anyway, I'll put her in the B rank as well. Like, uh, I do like the visual update. She would have probably been down to C, but I do like the visual update. Uh, the fact that she can only deal light damage is a negative for her because uh, that's going to be tough on some of the light content in the game. You can't use her more effectively than other people. Uh, she is the other healer in the game, other than Bai Leon. The visuals from her attacks do look good, but it doesn't look like she's going to do that much damage because for when she's a healer. And her, her passive just seems a bit boring. It's just, oh, when you charge attack somebody, uh, spikes grow and it does extra damage. That's not really that creative passive. It's really trash. Her charge attack getting homing, I think, is a great plus. But enemies can still move away from it, so it's not like it's that good. Her E is a knockup and her ultimate is a heal, so not that not that good. Not that really pleasing to play for me visually and aesthetically. Um maybe some people out there will like her. I think I think she's gonna be a, a good female character for people to play. But not for me. Alright, alright. Next up here we have Jian. This is the Zhao character from the first video I made. He is definitely an ace, definitely. Like, first of all, his visuals are amazing. His ultimate looks amazing. And then when it changes his autos, it looks amazing. Like, I, he is one of the best design visually characters in the game. I don't know how much damage he does, but it's probably going to be a lot. And he's just like Jao, so anybody coming from Genshin to Wizard Ways will be comfortable playing him and probably would go for him if they like Jao. I would encourage him to. All right, all right. Next we have Yang Yang. Hmm. I'm gonna pick Yang Yang and B as well because her kit is also super simple. Her visuals aren't that good either. The only, the only like standout thing about her is that her hair glows, which is nice. But that's it. And her passive, she jumps back and throws like a little wind tornado. That's that's nice. Her E, wait, I think her E is a wind blade. Actually, I mean her passive is a wind blade. Actually, her passive, she jumps back and throws out a wind blade. That's nice. Her E is a mini tornado now, and her R is a big tornado. It all looks nice, but it doesn't last very long at all. And so I don't think she's gonna have that much use. I mean, she really can't have that much use. I think she's gonna be power equipped very early because uh, she's just like Venti from Genshin, and Venti is still a top tier character over there. I would think, but the thing is, his grouping potential is much higher. Like that, in this tornado stays for a lot longer, or the vortex in his case. Hers only lasts like two seconds, and I it, it's it's nice, but who are you gonna group in that that amount of time? It's, it's not gonna be a lot, and it's very weak as well. It's not like a strong pull, so maybe it's gonna get buffed. I haven't really seen it since the CBT has came out in China. Maybe my opinion will change later on. We'll see, but for right now, no. She's she just, and she's a starter character as well. It's probably why she's as weak as she is, but maybe not. We'll see. All right, next up we have Tao Chi. Okay, I'm just picking her next. I'm not even gonna mess around. Plus one, she's a counter character, which automatically puts her in the S rank for me because I love counter characters. I play in any game I play, I love to play counter, and it's on her charge attack as well, so it doesn't have a cooldown, which is nice. You won't get, I don't think you get the big damage unless you have the charges from her passive though. And her ult is just a big damage slash. She's a she's a simple character, but her design is nice. Uh, okay, her E is pretty trash. Her E basically makes it to where you have super armor, which is nice because her attacks are very slow. That is something. Her attacks are very slow. Like normally I would put her down in A just for how slow she is. But since she's a counter character, I, ca I can't do it. I have to keep her in S. have to do it. I have to keep her in S. I don't really think the the dark fire or the abyssal like type of element she is. I don't think it matches very well with her, but that's fine because she's a counter character. Um, if you can't tell, this is very biased. I don't know what you expected. This is a tier list for fun at that. And yeah, that's Tauchi. She's S because she has a counter, and I like I like her kit as well. I just don't like her E. If her E changed, I wouldn't be mad. But everything else is fine. All right, next we have Sanhu. Hmm. 
Sand Hill. I, I'll put it in B. I mean A. I'm put it in A. I was gonna put it in B, but since they changed a look, couple of her moves, they changed about much. They changed the, the radius. I think she's gonna be more, much more potent. Uh, for one, her passive is gonna be pretty good. If you if you can if you can build her towards her passive, then she's gonna be a great character. Cause her passive, if, for anyone who doesn't know, is a lunge that goes through enemies. And she can do it like when she's attacking. But if she can get that to do high damage, that's first of all, it's movement. So you don't have to worry about sitting in place and doing it. And it'll be great. And her E and Q, I mean, here, her E and R are very quick little icicle slashes. And if you just can constantly passive and slash enemies, it's going to be pretty nice. I can see her being very, very useful character. I'm not sure if Mono teams would be good or not. But we'll see that in the future. Maybe pair her with um, Baleon. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Next up, we have Alto. Alto is from the trailer here that saved Ark when she was about to fall. Pretty sure everybody knows that. I'm gonna put him in S rank as well. So Alto here, his visuals are again some of the best in the game. He's right up there with Jian. Um, first of all, he has a decoy which i don't think any other player that i've seen has i mean any other character and th that alone should put him in s rank then i think he has i'm not sure what his ult does but it looks like it's blocks projectiles which can be super good as well especially in certain content where projectiles like can one shot you or something i'm not sure if that's a thing i'm just saying but he it looks like his kit will definitely stand the test of time because with his passive he turns into a cloud and starts zooming <laughs> and then firing missiles at enemies which that already just sounds super fun and he's just a super mobile character with the time so regardless of if, if his damage is good or not i think he's going to be a used character if you can use his passive in the open world it's going to be a lot better but even without that i still think he's still an s rank at least at least for me his character design is good as well but it's, it's not the best. He looks pretty plain, but just, hey, he's gray, so can't work well out with that. But that's, that's, that's fine. That's fine. All right, next we have the male rover. I'm not going to put him in D rank. Like, their kit is super boring. Super boring. Their E is just a the light little construct thing that spins around on you. Their, their R is better. The R used to be. Damn, where, where did their R used to be? Okay, there are used to be a little knock up and then attack one enemy with swords. Now it's uh, like a little stop time for like a second and then explode, which is nice. It's just boring. It's just boring. It's one hit. It's boring. I don't, I don't really like it. It's not bad. Of course, Fima Rover. I, okay, I'll pick her in C tier. I'll tell you why. Because she's faster. Fima Rover. It may have been the buff that they had in the video, but from what I've seen, the auto attacks and stuff are the same, but she's just faster. So I just, she's just better to me. There may be some things that the male have like more damage. I didn't really look at the damage numbers, but faster means better for me. So I'm just going to have better MC. All right. Next we have Yan Wu. This is Yan Wu. Uh, if I had to put him somewhere, I'd put him in a tier because this is also a fast character because he's electric i think is he the only electric we've seen he is the only electric character so that automatically just makes him high value he is very fast and speedy and he can he, he's also the only character i've seen give shields as well huh if those shields can work for the whole party now we'll have to pick him an s rank if, if everybody gets a shield, I'll have to put him in S. And if everybody can benefit from his speed, he'll definitely be an S from character, but I'm not sure for right now. So I'll put him in A. So A potential S. I'll put, I'll put him in hot, hot A. I haven't really... His pylon, I'm not sure what it does. I think it increases his speed. His ult is just a punch, but it gives a shield as well. Um, And his, his auto attacks, I don't know what his passive is, but it looks like... Uh, his passive might be the thing that gives him his little gauntlets. That might be it. I'm not sure. But he he looks to be a high A, maybe S in the future if the shit goes to multiple characters. I'm going to be looking at some videos today. 
why wasn't where you see because no cn close beta is out to see what exactly he does it might, it might be he might be an s all right lastly here we have yingling so yingling for me s all right i know i said that i liked by leon's puppet better and if by leon was a dps character i would 100 percent put her in s I, I would 100 percent. but she's not she's a healer and her kit's pretty bar i'm not gonna lie she's just a healer so she has to go in a yingling on the other hand she is a dps character she's definitely a dps character because her alt animation is just her like sitting on air or something and calling down lightning like yuri miko from genshin which is nice it looks nice and then her puppet the only gripe i have about her kit is that her puppet it looks nice and it can attack from super far but her her e is not super far so when you when you cast her e it doesn't go where the puppet is it just goes in front of her which i guess <laughs> i would say it would be nice that you can just hit enemy that's in front of you if they try to attack you but no you can just dodge and the puppet comes right back to you i believe and so that'd be just a way to get that so if they change that to where the, the e just hits wherever the puppet is and she just slings it like a wrecking ball that'd be nice i, I would she would definitely be she'd probably be my favorite character at that point or maybe maybe second favorite because top she exists um her puppet looks nice it's a very small puppet which i just didn't expect the puppet can also fight while she's not in the field on its own which is nice it's gonna be i don't know if it has a health bar but just extra off-field damage is nice she's the only character i've seen that has off-field damage i'm not saying she's the only character that has it but she's the only character i've seen uh, plus there every character has a discharge ability like when they switch out i think it, yeah i think it's when you switch out or switch to a character for an assist they have like those abilities i haven't seen any of those i've seen i've seen like one or two because of yesterday's video but i'm not sure how everyone else's is so we'll see that in the future maybe i'll change my mind about a couple of these placements we'll see but for right now this is what i have that's it for now and don't forget to like comment subscribe and thanks very much for watching